Hi. My inverter is freaking out. Might be a good time to discuss the electrical system around here. It's actually not beeping right now, but the screen's also not on, so I don't think it's functioning properly. But we're trying to troubleshoot an inverter that's not working. No. See, if the inverter was working, that green light would be on, but it's not. And the number one reason for the inverter around here is the fridge. We need the fridge to work. So the green light's on, but it's not really working. As indicated by this black screen, which should be lit up with information. So my inverter is not working. So, I'll quickly go over how the electrical system is set up here so that maybe you guys can help me troubleshoot what's going on with the inverter because I need it to work. It's, I think it's the way my electrical system is set up and I'll explain why shortly here. But let's quickly go over how this is actually set up so that maybe we can identify the problem together. Because I can't figure out what's going on and I need it to work. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's either the generator or these very limited solar panels that is the start of the power here on the property. So, like the beginning of the stream of power. So, the generator, you can see this cord coming out of it, that plugs into the cabin. And that's, this is my super high tech cover for rain. So that cord is plugged in. So I, I designed the electrical to be like a RV because we were living in a trailer when we were building this. So I just understood that electrical system from trying to troubleshoot that electrical system and built this one similar. So similar to how like an RV or whatever would be, here is the external power cord. So on the other side of this is, like on the other side of this wall, is the closet where all the rest of the power system is. So I just keep this here because that little overhang is not sufficient for rain protection. But this is. Okay, so now you'll see. So when that cord is plugged in and the generator's running, it's charging my battery bank. So in my closet, you'll see a lithium iron battery, but currently I'm hooked up to flooded lead acid and the bank of flooded lead acid is in here. That's my flooded lead acid battery bank right now. And you can see all these cords from this battery bank are going in there. And then that ground wire that you see right there, that is going into the AC power box. And the other end of it, the other end of the ground wire is in the ground. Attached to an eight foot grounding rod that is pounded into the ground. Okay, so that's the external part, and now we'll go inside and see the rest. So from there. Okay, so this is the other side 
of that plug that's outside. So you can see the generator is plugged into the AC power for the cabin. That is what that is. That's an AC <laughs> power. Okay, now, does that lead to my AC power box? No. It leads to a transfer switch. The transfer switch is what goes to the AC power box. And what's the other thing the AC is provided by is the inverter, which is not working. So the external AC power coming from the generator comes through this cord or wire, use whatever lingo you want, into the transfer switch, which facilitates electrical coming from either the generator or the inverter as the source. That's what it's transfer switching between. Okay, the other thing that the transfer switch is plugged into is a battery charger slash converter. So this takes the power that's coming in from the generator only when the generator is on, only when the transfer switch has switched over to shore power, so to speak, if this were an RV. So when shore power is plugged in, the transfer switch allows the battery charger to charge my battery bank. And those wires are going through the wall back out to that flooded lead acid bank that's sitting on the other side of this. So that is how my batteries get charged. Those solar panels that you saw out there are trickle charging when we're not here and when we're not running the generator. So the generator is really the main source of power around here. I also have like, for instance, a regular size oven if I want to preheat that oven, it'll kill the battery bank. So I usually click the generator on, turn it on, when I'm going to preheat the oven, when I'm going to run my AC window unit, which is only in during the summer, and otherwise um, when I just need to charge the batteries. So the generator is really important around here, but it's not the only source of power. And then those just two solar panels are, are for trickle charging the battery bank and just keeping it kind of like topped off. Well, let's take a nap, sweetheart. You want to get down for a nap? Okay, I'm in the middle of troubleshooting a failing inverter and the inverter decided to turn on and start working properly. So. I'm going to record because I think it will probably fail shortly here. And then I can have that recorded and maybe someone can recognize what's happening. But it's just ironic. I've been trying to deal with this for days and right now it's just turned on and started working fine. Because like earlier, the screen was black. And you can see it's, it's pulling a little bit. That's the fridge right there. That 54 to 64 watts that it's pulling. It's starting to make noise. So I wonder if we can film it fail. See ya. Output is not what it should be, which it should be 110, 89, 88. Something is going wrong with this thing.
but I don't think it's the inverter itself because when I hooked up another inverter it failed too so it's making me think there's a problem with my wiring I'm sorry about that shine on the screen I don't know why the inverter is sad but it should not be pulling that many watts since it's only the refrigerator that it should be pulling and also the output should not be 89 or 82 or 80 oh there it goes it's we're gonna film it fail yeah. maybe someone out there can see this and tell me what's going on I don't know but it's not happy so I think I should turn it off instead of just let it wig out Hopefully someone out there can identify what's going on from seeing this. But I can't let that go. It seems like it's just going to harm the system more. Anyway, this is what we're trying to troubleshoot today. It's Saturday, so it's our one day to get stuff done, pretty much. <laughs>